got one of these code alarm transmitters. Um, so lots of different kinds. There's um, these four buttons. There's two buttons. This this video is basically going to cover up all the code alarm and the Chapman brands. Um, like this one is a code alarm. It's a GOH MM6 101890. These things have been around forever, just for a kajillion years. Okay, that one I'm going to cover. This one here, GOH FR. DPC 2002. These have with and without the LED. That one we're going to cover and fix that one. And this one here, which is a GOH PNO, PAN05. PAN05. Okay, this will work again on Code Alarm and Chapman as well. Doesn't really matter. The trick to doing this is very straightforward. You get into the vehicle, you open up the driver's door, you find your valet switch, which is going to be typically under your driver's dash, or if you have one of the systems with the big LED combo valley button that you could push in with the door open you press this and hold it for about 15 seconds after about 15 seconds the door locks are going to chatter up and down what you do at that point get all your remotes you can program up to four and you have to do this within 15 seconds hit lock it'll confirm by going check check with the locks same thing on a second remote say for you know the sake of the video we have three Hit lock on the third transmitter, and that's it. The program's complete. You have 15 seconds to either turn the key off or it'll time out after 15 second elapses. You turn the key off, you get out, and just go back on. Turn it with the key off, of course. Test your remotes, and they'll work perfectly. It's very easy. Code alarm, real simple. Enjoy.